Jeff Bezos got divorced because he realized his marriage was a union. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien and today we're looking through r slash rare insults. Are you really gonna plug your show like an ad right in the middle of the vid? Shameless. Yes, I am Kyle because it's my show. How the frick else am I supposed to tell people about it? Would you rather I paint it on walls underneath the tunnel in a secret location so no one sees it? To avoid annoying you in future Kyle, I'll advertise my show somewhere you'll never see it. Like in the arms of a woman who loves you. Okay, Lewis, jeez. You doing okay, Blank? I saw it was 42 degrees Celsius yesterday. Huh, <sighs> melting. 36 Celsius in my place in the afternoon. Then finally some rain came in, and even the 25 degrees Celsius now feel like a big relief. I was in Britain. A friend from Scotland mentioned a heat wave too. Ugh, sweating like a Catholic priest visiting an all boys school. Air conditioning is unhealthy, bad, miserable, and sexist. I can't explain how many times I've gotten sick over the summer because of overzealous AC in offices. How is it sexist, first of all? <laughs> the majority of men in business settings are wearing multiple layers of clothes to conform to dress code. Put on a goddamn cardigan and stop making me ashamed to share a chromosome with you. How is air con- I want to know how it's sexist in general. Nicki Minaj's cake looks like the claymation figures from Chicken Run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch Spider-Man today. Me too. Oh really? Yeah, what a coinky dink. Coincidence. Ah, uh, coinky dink is better. People who say that still get breastfed. Hey, I'm still getting pretty. What about you, my guy? None. Nada. No pretty for you. I'm thirsty. Bring me another. <laughs> Autistic female community college student who is proud to sport a unibrow. I'm not scared of your roasts. Hey, what was it like discovering fire? I love baby boomers who say, Kids don't even know how to write cursive. In a negative way, like, okay, grandma. You can't even turn your laptop on without getting six viruses and wiring half your retirement money to a Nigerian prince. Zach, calm down, who hurt you? <laughs> Bad exam. Gonna end up working in Aldi. Ah, uh, we don't think so, thicko. You need a minimum of a degree just to clean the toilets out, love. Try McDonald's. Aldi's customer care. <laughs> Didn't really care about Ellie, huh? I'm now an anti-vaxxer because vaccines are the leading cause of adults and those annoying pieces of crap are frickin' everywhere. That's a compelling argument. I'm freaking beautiful, like a brown Norse god. Glow me up, Twitter. Tell me how beautiful I am. Well, hey, Soviet Womble. You look like some Bollywood Hulk on a shoestring punch. <laughs> Beyonce looked like the rough endoplasmic reticulum with ribosomes attached to it. Ooh. Good morning. Why was he so big? Did he ever give a backstory to that? Yeah, he was a little guy, but Emily Elizabeth loved him so much he turned into a big boy. Your doggo is small, what does that say about you? You're small. What does that say about your parents? Mate, cancer could be cured tomorrow and your forehead would still be the biggest thing this week. Don't go after KSI like that, he's just trying to live his life. Okay, you think it's easy walking around with a seven head? I didn't think so. Limp Biscuit makes music for people who hold pencils with their entire closed fist. You said it, Eli. Jeez, thanks, Eli. <laughs> I bet half of the movie's budget was spent on crack for the animators. Welcome to Cats. Oh, just took a line trying to draw some cats. <laughs> Probably the most realistic part of Forrest Gump was when he graduated from the University of Alabama. Thanks, Clue. Delete this. It's almost midnight. Not the crap I want to see. It's four. Shut up, mister. What's a kilometer? You don't even know what a kilometer is. You don't know what time is, you idiot. You dummy. Here's four random pics of me. <laughs> This dude looks like he moans when he wipes himself. <laughs> Holy crap, that was such incredible stupidity. My brain cells evolved to develop lungs and vocal cords just so they could scream as they died. When you trade with a villager but he doesn't know the carrots you sold him are the ones from his farm. Dude, I do that all the time. <laughs> I love finding desert villages with all the hay bales, you know what I'm talking about? And finding farmers who uh, take bread or wheat for emeralds, and I just completely dish- I, I- I pillage their village and sell back the weed as a profit. He's so bad at English, he doesn't need duolingo, he needs single lingo. I'm sure some of y'all think I need single lingo with how I pronounce things. Established dominance. Why are we hiding Joey Bat's message? He said piss on both of them, I like that. Why does some dude always have to make this crappy joke? Established dominance. I guess you don't get the 60k karma without reposting crap. It's a freaking meme. I have not ever in my life met someone whose brain is as big as my p***s and I'm a frickin' girl. That means you got no brain. Jerkwad. This wasn't a parking spot. I couldn't get in the passenger side of my car. Hope your day is crappy, frickin' clown shoe. 
<laughs> nice. To remember how many feet there are in a mile, you just gotta use five tomatoes. Five tomatoes sounds like five to a o, and there's 5,280 feet in a mile. To remember how many meters there are in a kilometer, you just remember 1,000, because the system of measurement in the rest of the world wasn't invented by a drunk mathematician rolling dice. Hey look, it's roast me. I can hear your fetal alcohol syndrome toddler crying in the background for something that isn't microwave burgers through my laptop. God, that's brutal. <laughs> My boyfriend turned down five fully paid scholarships just to stay here with me. I really love this man so much. Your boyfriend is an idiot. The level of density radiating from this post caused a frickin' singularity in my living room. You ain't fooling nobody. He looks like Matt Damon if Matt Damon was born in a Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> sir, no sir! How tall are you, private? Sir, five foot nine, sir! Five foot nine? I didn't know these stack crap that high. And then he laughs. Guess who don't got kids? Me. Guess who doesn't have grammar? Also you. LOL. Bruh, it's six words and you understood what I meant. Shut your tricks, rabbit looking butt up and stay in your lane. All right, damn. <laughs> have they already raided Area 51? That's mean. <laughs> hey, Sarah. I'm so tired of having boys always texting me. Everyone wants me. Yeah, you know what they say. Lower prices always attracts customers. Ho, <laughs> <laughs> How come when the Hulk smashes everything, he's incredible, but when I do, I'm a tramp? Wow. Uh, well, the Hulk smashes bad guys and saves the world. You smash guys named Chaz, Chad, and Cooper and spread diseases. Shelby. At I eat butt. <laughs> <laughs> so, Instagram is thinking of ditching likes. I'll drink to that. I have never liked anything in my life. Why not replace the like button with a you shouldn't be allowed to breed button? Or a, you know, when you're dead. Your only legacy will be this pouting selfie, you narcissistic, awful tote bag button. Way more useful. Thanks, Swim Reaper. I freaking love Irish slang. Like, it's the most creative craft ever. Today I heard a coffin being referred to as a wooden onesie in the sentence, Ah, oh, Jesus. My nanny looks better than you and she's in a blidden wooden onesie. And it was honestly life-changing. I don't know how good that accent was, if at all, but uh, I gave it my best shot. <laughs> Me, in Japanese, to the girl, I'm Shiro Kishi, just call me Shiro. Girl, in Japanese, if you're the white knight, then I'll call myself Kuro Kishi, literally black knight, just call me Kuro. Teacher, I need to take a note to give both of you an A for the rest of the year. Kuro, Shiro, Arigato Sensei. The girl and I started dating after that lesson. It turns out she was also a fan of My Little Pony. The teacher, she, and I enjoyed discussing the latest episode in Japanese during class just to piss the bullies of the class off. This post has inspired me. Yes, I'm going back to school. I'm gonna study technology and theoretical physics. I'm gonna pour my heart and soul into it. Every waking moment will be dedicated to the advancement of science. And with some luck and ingenuity and a lot of sweat and blood, I might just invent time travel. Then I can come back to several minutes previous to now and shoot myself before reading this. Kids are uh, basically reverse Roombas. You take it from me, Papa's uncle. I mean, you're not wrong. Light mode. Oh, I'm sorry, did I accidentally disturb a Victorian era vampire? Get back to your tomb, you little light allergic shriveled shrimp. Jeez. You looking like the Toy Story dude in the chicken store. Oh, he does. He really do. <laughs> <laughs> looking at this man is like touching wet food in the sink. That's such a clever one. I love that insult so much. I've been using that in my day to day. Hey man, love the vid. Here's some suggestions for the next one. Don't make videos. <laughs> You look like Mark Zuckerberg shaved his head, grew a little beard, and stole the latest Human Emotions DLC into his head. That's a really good insult. <laughs> if you don't shut the frick up, I swear I will shove a cactus so far up your butt you'll have more pricks in your mouth than you usually do during Pride Month, you- Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> that got really deep really quick, like really just visceral. We need to stop giving serial killers cool names like The Night Stalker or The Green River Killer. We should remove the mystique, make it sound less appealing. The micro penis maniac. Or Bobby Dipstick, the stupid murderer. My young daughter is very sweet, but has a mouth like a sailor. We have a deal that the only person she can swear at is the moon. If you come past our house on the right time of the month, you'll hear a five-year-old and a middle-aged man shouting, screw you moon and shut up you crap at the night sky. F off space egg. Frickin galactic cheese. Earth orbiting tramp circle. Love it when the community comes together to insult the moon. Most honest used car ad I've ever seen. 2003 VW Jetta. No longer needed by my son as he seems to take my Tahoe whenever he wants. Body in good shape, interior as well. Though it smells like a crayon factory. 
Backseat unused. He couldn't get laid in a monkey whorehouse with a fistful of bananas. Runs well. May need fresh clutch because he drives like a little a-hole. This man's looks like bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nipple rings, knuckle tattoos, black nail polish, and what appears to be a suspiciously large bottle of lubriderm on the counter behind you. If I shared a picture of the national flags of Kyrgyzstan, Tonga, Albania, China, Morocco, Singapore, Switzerland, and the Isle of Man, there would still be fewer red flags in that image than in this one. <sighs> Exquisite. And then this says sips, I got you, I got a drink right here. <laughs> nice. That was a gross sip. Odell Beckham Jr. hits the beach in Cancun with girlfriend Polly Zini for Philly. Wait, what's her name? Dude's dating a prescription drug. <laughs> People shouldn't have to pimp themselves off to the military to afford college, WTF. The don't, lol. Actually, almost every teacher I've ever had has suggested joining the military because they'll pay for college. And almost half of my class is either doing it or considering it, but I hope that rock you live under has air conditioning. Dave, Dave, calm down, Dave. Please rate my Medavada soundbar and Nariel Chutney. I didn't know you could tweet from prison. Thanks, Gordon. That dude looks like a piranha with Down syndrome. He looks like a feral David Spade to me. He's got the David Spade eyes. But I see where you're getting piranha from. That's a cute. That's a cute insult. That's a cute one. I have eaten pudding smarter than her. Dee Dee, Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is like a 30 year old, 40 year old woman. <laughs> Dee Dee, Jesus. Can they raise lifeguard requirements? I'm sorry, but I just don't trust a 19 year old, 110 pound blonde named Mackenzie with the IQ of a McChicken to save my life. The game dev had enough of people reporting insults, so he did one himself. We don't accept screenshots as evidence, you absolute lemsips. Stop reporting verbal abuse. As I said before, use the ignore button or log out. Nobody cares that a level 6 told you he would use a hamster as a wiener sock. Grow thicker skin. Life is not a safe space. Let me develop my game. Sure, we'd support this cauliflower and kale burger from KFC. This is literally that one burger from Spongebob that almost killed the health inspector. The nasty patty. Hey teens, vaping isn't fleek or fire. That's why the state of Ohio launched My Life Might Quit to show you that you don't need fat clouds to be radical. What in the name of social security stealing Bee Gees listening, get off my lawn screaming may I speak to your manager haircut having pull up your pants young man ridiculousness is this. That was a flavorful insult, Taylor. That's a 10 out of 10. Jimmy Fallon, the only thing he should host is a parasite. Ho, ho. The guy with blue hair looks like a rejected vampire concept from Twilight. Hey, don't talk about Icy Narco like that. He taught SpongeBob how to play the clarinet. I hate Icy Narco so much. He's an idiot. <laughs> He's type guy that only has one brain cell left that bounces around his skull like a Windows screensaver. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks, juking Jesus. That that imagery is cute. This girl has extendo feet. With feet that big, she don't need a car. Two steps in that bro should be at her destination. <laughs> Screw me in the eye, this girl is more useless than the letter K in knife. Wait, does it, didn't this dude get on Tosh.0 for his comedy? I like this guy. Veggie pizza on the lake. Mmm. Get help, you mess of recessive genes. Boobs Radley, why would you say that to Scott Walker with his veggie pizza? No wonder I can't find any circuses to go to. All the clowns are running this account. <laughs> all men, I repeat, all men are trash. My dad is not trash, though. Your words are direct contradictions. You are both a moron and an oxymoron. Damn, Jola. And that brings us to the end of r slash rare insults. And if you liked the video, leave a like down below and subscribe for more content from MK. It's not going to cost you a thing. And as always, I'll be seeing you.